now, the WSSA TV 1005 News from Historic Row Hall on the Fox Chapel campus of Shadyside Academy. The 1005 News starts now. I'm Izzy Callahan. And I'm Jay Cudahan. And this is the season finale of your WSSA 1005 News. Thank God. The end of the year is rapidly approaching, and the annual sets of spring have finally arrived at the Academy. Seniors with senior projects have been missing from school for months. The student versus faculty basketball game will also be taking place tomorrow in Mellon Gym. This is the annual test of who is more out of shape. The dean who sits on a yoga ball at their desk all day to convince themselves they're maybe exercising, or the senior who has logged more time at Ichiban over the past two months than on their PE fitness check-in sheet. The men of Shadyside are really raising the bar in the unending competition of who can wear the most vineyard vines at one time. And now to Jack Naughton with sports for the last time of 2018. Y'all ready for this? I'm here with Kate Hart and Trinity Murphy, uh, co-captains of the softball team. So uh, how'd your season go? It's good. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you guys did pretty well, right? What was your record? Uh, seven and three. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm here with uh, two of the girls across the team's representatives, Abby Tan and Emmy Lop. So what was your record for the season? Uh, 16 and three. So would you have any uh, advice for any other class on our team? Hard work beats talent, and talent doesn't work hard. Yeah. So I'm here with one of the tennis captains, uh, Clay. How did your season go so far? Uh, went pretty well. We finished with the old runner-ups, Colin and Nam, and won with the old doubles. Oh, well, that's, uh, you know, it's good for them. Lantris. Anyway. <laughs> How was the season? Oh, it was uh, very good. We had a 5-4 and four record, but um, I think most impressive was the, was the number of people who made it to the state meet. Uh, make sure to go cheer those people on if you're in that area. Shippensburg. Shippensburg. Now, I'm here with the boys across team captain, Ronan O'Connor. Ronan, how did you go? Uh, it was pretty solid. Um, I don't know our record, but... Uh, yeah, pretty solid. Any shout-outs? Um, I'd like to shout out my twin brother Paul. I'm a great kid, just, just a mega kid, you know. Alright, I'm here with Alex Stabile. Alex, so how's your season going? Um, I'm tired. You're jumping. You're jumping. Thank you, Jack. Amazing work as always. Thanks, guys. How do you not notice the huge camera crew in the Dean's office this past week? Oh yeah, I did notice that. What's what's that about? Well, we'll finally end the, the confusion. Just now, NBC has leaked an exclusive cut of their new pilot, The Dean's Office. Perfect, let's roll the tape. Yeah, so this show has really caused a ruckus this past, these past few weeks. Everyone in the office tries to think, you know, thinks that they're cool enough to be Jim, but they really just, they just aren't. And, uh, you know, at least, at least I'm a lock for Michael Scott. Trust me, I'm the Jim of the office. I'm the funniest, I have the hair, and everybody loves me. But most of all, I have the hair. Trust me, guys, I'm the Jim of the Dean's office. I've got the best hair. The funniest, and everybody loves me. Clearly, I'm the gym of the office. I, uh, the best looking, the funniest, big sports guy. Oh, and the hair. It's definitely made our office into one big competition. Good morning, Shadyside Academy Attendance Office. Hi, Mrs. Grant, how are you? Good. Aw, he's not feeling well? Okay, all right, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Please have him sign in when he gets here. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.
All right, people, emergency meeting right now. We got to go. All right, people, corporate, I mean, Sophie's after me. She's seen some really outrageous dress this week. We, she's, she's accusing us of not doing our jobs. That's what she said. It's literally what she said. You've got to be looking out for, you know, open-toed shoes, uh, logos on, on sweatshirts that are not shady side, colored hair. You'd think we wouldn't have to deal with this anymore, but it annoys us every single day. Only Janosko has any fun with this. Of course Janos goes Dwight to the office. He's got a bee farm. Morning, Michelle. Hey, Adam. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. You hear those thunderstorms yeah, last night? That was crazy last night. Booming. You were really something else. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. What's up, Chad? Hey, Adam. Good morning. morning. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. What the? My favorite swing line! What? <laughs> <laughs> They think I'm Dwight of the office, but it's simply not true. I'm the alpha, they have no right to prank me, and Cronin, it's not a bee farm, it's an apiary. Chad! Yeah, this, fac this, this show has got the faculty all worked up. No matter how many times I tell them we are not actually affiliated with the show, The Office, people keep trying out for roles. Hi, I'm Ryan Logue, and I'm here for Kevin Malone. Thank you, Deans. I mean, I guess. You okay, Dan? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little upset, is all. Why? Just that whenever anybody does a spoof of The Office, nobody ever plays Karen. People love being Jim or Pam or Dwight or Michael, even Toby sometimes, but nobody ever wants to show Karen love. She was great at her job and should have got that job at corporate over Ryan. Spoiler alert, whatever, I don't care. All I'm saying is that Karen was a vital role to the team and she seemed to just drop by the wayside when Jim picked Pam. It's whatever, I'm not mad. Just a little peeved is all. Damn it, Dan, Jim ends up with Pam? Anyways, that about wraps up our time here at your WSSA 1005 News. It's been an honor to be anchors. Thank you for putting up with all of our cringy jokes and lackluster transitions over the past couple of months. Speak for yourself, Dan and fake witty banter. We appreciate the laughs and audible disapproval and we can only hope that this continues into the future. We quickly want to shout out our executive producers for the show, George Gruen and Jackson Clark. They work <laughs> unbelievably hard to get the show edited and projected for your enjoyment every episode, so please thank them. We also want to thank the man behind the camera, Mr. Knox. He's the one who strokes our ego and makes us think we're way better looking than we really are. So I'm Izzy Callahan. And I'm Dan Cunahan, here with our final WSSA 1005 News. Enjoy your summers and enjoy our replacements. Thank you. Thank you.